Everybody, it's Lester Purge Pink here, and today we are in Pewter City. Now, if you recall, last time I had a bit of trouble, you know, getting another Pokemon, and I was really concerned about Brock's gym. Um, as you saw in the speed up, I went back through Viridian Forest, got up to, got up, you know, a few levels, all the way to level 15, and I think that should be really enough to not be over leveled and to also take on Brock. I also found a metal coat, and I think that it's really irrelevant. I don't need it at all, but you know what? It's for good luck. Um, so, without further ado, I guess let's take on Brock and see how it goes. Thank you. Thank you for your words of wisdom. Okay, so Tauros. I mean, looking pretty okay. Okay, I mean, that's kind of smart. I mean, I know the AI is supposed to be. That's not good. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We're fine. Especially since we have all those healing items. And on top of that, we... Oh my god! Really? So I was so worried... Bug catcher Dudley. That was in the blink of an eye. Let's see what TM this is. It is Scratch. Thanks. Alright, so the good part about this is that we're going to actually be getting quite a few encounters today. Um, also, we get the running shoes, which is absolutely wonderful. So now we won't have to grind to get anywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and heal up, because even though I'm pretty sure I could take on the next route, it'd be fine. I don't want to, you know, took me this long to realize. Alright, so now the game volume's back on. Uh, I apologize, I know that... Leaf Green has an awesome soundtrack, and I apologize for depriving you of that. Alright, oh, we have five balls. I'm gonna buy five more. Um, I mean, we look pretty good on everything. Um, I don't want to repel. Thank you. So we'll be getting the running shoes right about now. Bye, bye, dude. All right. So the real exciting part of today is how many Pokemon we're going to be getting. We're going to be getting one for this route. We're also going to be getting one for um, the Magikarp. Um, the one that you buy from the dude and he's like, this is a great Pokemon and it's a Magikarp. Um, Mount Moon. I'm pretty sure that route, the route before um, Cel Celadon. Okay, this is my worst fear come to life. Okay. This is fine. Okay, that's fine. Just you do you, man. No. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're fine. We're okay. What's with all the operators around here? But anyway, 
I'm just super excited to be getting some um, encounters and hopefully I don't die before I get there. And look at that. Look at that. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Oh, look. Time to prove who the best bird is. Whew. That caused my anxiety to go way up. Rich boy Lawrence. Didn't give me a lot of money. I want to go back and heal to be safe. I know I'm kind of like, oh yes, I can run now, yay. I know it's like, you're wasting time, but I always try to be safe. And it's like, you have potions. And I'm like, well, I'd rather have potions in, in case for like, in case we need to stall or something, then. But actually, um, I turned on the um, running indoors thing because it's a lot better to run indoors. Don't know why that hasn't been common practice. That wasn't common practice in Pokemon games, but whatever. I just... I'm just ready to get a new encounter because I'm so scared. I want like a water type or a grass type. Or fish. That's one Pokemon that's really forgotten about that I honestly love because I grew up around the time that the um, Ruby and Sapphire series was on. I thought that said Raikou for a second and I was about to scream. I mean, you know what would be best for this? We need a ground type. But Corphish actually has kind of a special place because I think either Ash or May had a Corphish. I can't, I can't recall. It's been a heck of a long time. But I just remember the cute little core fish. Anime, the, the Pokemon anime cries are golden. Like, um, I just, oh. I apologize for that, but I, I love doing the ditto cry. It's so much fun. I know I gotta work on it a little bit, but my Jigglypuff actually sounds a little bit better. Operator Mike. Okay, I'm kind of done like dinner. I swear, some of the things NPCs say in these games. <sighs> okay, so the counter for this route is <gasps> exactly what I was asking for. You know what? You know, I'm just gonna chuck a ball at it because honestly, I can't weaken this thing. Wait, actually, you know, I can. Please. Please. That might actually be a good thing. Can we get a boneless ember? Okay. No, please. Please. I would fire spin it, but I'm too worried that that's gonna do enough chip damage to take it out. I don't think it will, but it's better to be safe than sorry because I desperately need this. Please. Please. You know what? I I'm gonna just do it. Or, you know, Spoicy can hurt itself in confusion. That's cool, too. Or it can miss, you know? That's amazing. This thing is like using like pro strats on me. Doing the defense drop. Okay, please. This would mean the world to me. Okay, I think we're fine. Please. Yay. Alright, let's see here. We'll name her... Let's name her Queenie, because honestly, 
I don't know what I'm doing. Why did spicy get all caps? Well, because it's my starter, of course, and I love it. I know that this is a dumb question, because I already know the answer to it, but y'all do like the button press thing, right? Where it's like, where you press like A rapidly or B rapidly. I, okay, the thing is, is I always heard, I, I, I always pressed A growing up, while everybody else was like, oh yeah, you gotta press B to catch Pokemon, and I'm like, do I? I thought it was A, so now I just kind of alternate between them because that might give me a better chance. But I mean, I know there's nothing in the game's code or anything that increases the chances, but you know, it's nice to have something to be like, like you feel like you have a little bit of control over the RNG. Okay, let's see what that is. I believe, oh, it's just a big mushroom, all right. I mean, I think that's for a move tutor. Okay, let's see what this Magikarp is. Um, where I'm gonna stop actually is Mount Moon. I mean, no, not Mount Moon, at right before Misty's Gym, and I'm going to grind before it. Because I... I, I I want to get- okay, Granbull! That's- that's kind of powerful. Was I able to nickname this? I don't know. I'll see it Lavender Town. I- I feel bad because I feel like I'm kind of breaking the rules, but at the same time, I didn't see an option to nickname it, but I could have just been clicking through really fast. Oh well, worse things have happened. And I mean, Lavender Town is only like a few gems away. I mean, I, I I guess I'll skip search since this grand bowl is very important. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and I'm going to switch train. Hopefully, I'll be able to switch train. Honestly, grand bowl is kind of death fodder right now because it's not nicknamed, therefore it's kind of invalid in the rules. But you know what? It's fine. It's all fine. Queenie who is who I'm really concerned about getting ground up, ground up right now. You know what? Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go in the grass to do this. Oh, hey, look, another one. To quote DJ Khaled's infinite wisdom. Oh no, we're not doing this. <sighs> Come on, go ahead. You use your tail whip. It's not gonna work. Hmm. I'm trying to decide what course of action I should take. You know what? You know what I may do just for right the second. I think I'm gonna go into Mount Moon. See what I catch in there. We actually haven't checked Graham. We haven't really checked. It's a gentle nature. It escapes me. Nature's really escaped me. Like I know about like competitive Pokemon and everything, and I could prob and I could probably build a decent competitive team. But all right, let's see what's in here. Uh, well, you know, I would love to see what's in here. I would love it so much. I think it's actually a TM. Destiny Bo- Well, I guess. I mean, if we- It doesn't hurt to have Destiny Bond. I'm gonna just say that. Even in a Nuzlocke. I mean, it's kind of counterintuitive, but think about it. Well, I mean, I guess we've reclaimed our Magikarp. Arp. 
Or maybe not. I would have. You know what? That had a piss poor catch rate. I don't even know why. Was that not advertiser friendly? Uh. Oh well. So we don't have a Mount Moon encounter. I just wanted to weaken it first. So I wouldn't be struggling with it. But you know what? I should have known. I should have seen in my third eye that that wouldn't work out the way I wanted it to. Why am I looking in there? I'm waiting to like open it up one of these times and be like, where's the item? And go to my Pokeball case and see that it's a freaking Master Ball. I would have loved to have a magic art, but at the same time, it's like, that's another rock weakness. And at least Queenie has neutral damage with rock. Uh, so I, I don't really want to start, like, well, that's, that was a dumb thing to do. Um, I don't really want to start, um, like, grinding, like, like, like s switch training with trainers unless I'm, like, 100, like, percent sure of that if somebody sends out a rock type, I'll have, um, Queenie to fall back on. Um, hmm. I guess we can start heading through Mount Moon, and I'll do what I can against the trainers here. I really wish we had an experience share, but you know what? That's okay. That is okay. And what I'll do is- I could have a core fish! What I'll do is I'll only beat the necessary trainers, like Rocket Grunts. And if I happen to run into one, well, you know what? It happens. I'm just too afraid to start switch training right now. But you have a legendary! Well, at the same time... So much good stuff in here. Um, but at the same time, I do have a legendary, but I have a legendary with a quad weakness. Um, so the thing is, is let's just say, let's just say somebody sends out a golem, okay? Just hypothetically speaking. Somebody sends out a golem. I have Queenie up front. Now Queenie doesn't know any any water type move. Uh me, I'm gonna only fight necessary trainers. Also, me runs right into an unnecessary trainer. Now, let's just say that Queenie was out at level 6, like it is. It does not have any water type moves to counter Golem. And I would have to come to, you know, a, you know, like a catch-22, I guess. It's like, well, what I could do is I could sack Queenie off to so that Moltres wouldn't have to switch into anything or switch Moltres in hoping it doesn't use anything quad effective or that it lifts the hit but then again I'm stuck in kind of a perpetual cycle of healing and healing and items run out eventually I am really mad at myself for just not chucking a ball at it One of my favorite part about one of my favorite parts about randomizers is the the sheer randomness of it. Like, and that sounds dumb, but that's actually a useful item. The sheer random nature of it, and that you're using Pokemon that you might have never used before. I think that's exciting because I usually stick to my you know like six. If I'm playing like a casual game, let's just say I have like a Pikachu and a Blastoise, like let's just say I have Red Red's team, I would stick to that team throughout the entire game from the moment I got them. Don't know why I just opened up my Pokemon. Oh, that's cool if we get something that needs to evolve by friendship. Um, but like I'll stick with those six for the entire playthrough. Like, no, no like, uh, 
switching out Pokemon. I don't care how hard it gets. Wow, we're getting a bunch of balls. That's exciting. So then the real, like, thing comes in at... I totally lost my train of thought because several different things happened at once. Okay, this chick. Oh, another fun fact about me. On the night I got this game... Is this just water type central here? On the night I got this game, I actually didn't know how to save. So what I did instead of saving is I just closed my DS and you could hear the Mount music, Mount Moon music just playing softly in the background because here's the thing is that I was playing on a DS and in case you don't know, I didn't actually realize this until recently and the, the, the event I talked about happened years back. So what happened was the Mount, mu the Mount Moon music was just playing softly in the background and my mom like looks around and she's like, what is that noise? And I'm like, that's my game. She's like, can't you do something about it? And so I had to turn it off without saving. But I think it was because it, it was a previously, it was a, it was a previously pre-owned game. This was back when GameStop actually sold GBA games. Wow, that was a hot minute ago. And I think it was because I was like, oh, overwriting the save file. I don't know what I was thinking. As I said, I was kind of stupid. I think. I. My mom says I was smart, but... So does everybody around me. They're like, you were such a smart kid. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about that, Chief. I know it gets annoying with me checking my items over and over again, but I really, like, am excited to see the stuff that I'm getting. Soda pop. Nice. That's another thing about Nuz no, about randomizers that I love is that you just never know what you're gonna get. Like not just Pokemon wise, but like item wise, like stuff like cause I I don't really think I've really ever bought like soda pop in game before and never really used it unless it was given to me. Cause I tend to save my money throughout the game. Let's see what this is. Energy root. Okay. Well, I don't want my Pokemon to hate me, especially not Spoicy. Have you seen my shroomish anywhere, young man? Have, if you get that reference, I I love you. I mean, this isn't a necessary trainer, but you know what? I will switch train just for the sake of switch training because it, he's in the way, he's here, he's not going to be here next time around. Because all the rocket grunts leave after. Ah, yes. Here, let me just try to get a miracle going. I don't think that this is going to have any dangerous moves. I should be pulling out the moves, but you know what? That's no fun. Oh, that's that's wonderful. I love that. Oh, I don't even know what I'm worried about. Smooch him. You put you put the mattress up against the door so nobody's gonna come in and then they try to come in anyway this is a baby so I think that I'm gonna be able to take it out or maybe not you know what whatever Oh, this is gonna be so much footage. I'm I have to go back through. <laughs> I actually, fun fact, once attempted to start a Pokemon YouTube channel, um, and some of you guys actually. Okay, we. 
no, no. Okay. I actually tried to start a Pokemon YouTube channel, like, I think a year or so ago. Under the alias, um, Pink Snivy. And, um, I didn't really get much attention there, and I guess I just kind of like, I was like, no, I don't really want to do this. I just was, school and everything was crazy. And I was just like, no, I'm not gonna do this. So, but now I think that I'm in a better position to actually dedicate myself to making YouTube videos. And I'm currently trying to get a schedule worked out, how I want the channel to run and everything. Some pretty cool encounters in here. That may be replacing Clefairy. hate this. I hate you. Well, actually, I love Team Rocket, but it's just that the more trainers I face, the more likely they are to send out something that really just screws me over. At least I, at least I can't get, uh, oh, so it's this kind of battle. While we love a, um, toxic, uh, double team set. It just occurred to me that I forgot to turn battle animations back on for Brock, so I'm going to do that for Misty, um, because I do want to get the immersive gym leader experience. I mean, because some people are like, well, don't turn the animations off, and I'm like, uh, but I want to turn the an animations off. I know that I could probably live a hit from this thing, but I just want to be better safe than sorry. I just had to make sure I was still recording, because whenever I got interrupted earlier, I meant to stop the recording, but I, I don't think I did. Oh well. Which is a good thing, because I've been recording this entire time. You know what? The thing is, is that coming up to this part ahead, I could make a Twitch Please Pokemon joke. And be kind of quirky though, but I'm not gonna try that. It's, you know, it's just whichever fossil you want to be, and it's gonna be the same either way. Well, not the same, but it's, it's gonna be uh, an element of surprise either way, so we're not gonna be getting Lord Helix or Satan. You know what, I'm gonna heal up just a little. I have the resources to just in case it whips out anything crazy I really need to start recording in the middle of the night I mean it's 9 right now it's, well, it's almost 10 but I mean like in the middle middle of the night like when nobody's awake <sighs> Constrict. I didn't know constrict dropped your speed. I guess I'm. I guess it's just kind of like irrelevant as a move and pretty useless. So, I mean, that's why you probably don't see anyone using it. Gymnast Stacy. Okay. You know what? Any, meeny, miny, mock. So, okay, or, you know what, we got the encounter for on, in front of this one, and you know, Nita Rhino is pre-evolution of my favorite character's Pokemon, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with this, I don't remember which one this is, but it's fine. Ooh, and whenever I get cut, I can come back and get the old Amber, um, from Pewter. Okay, so these guys teach moves. I think they're the same moves. Yes, yes. 
Yeah, I think they're the same. Oh, well. Cool. Guess we know for sure now. Wonder what that item was. Well, I wonder what that item was. PP Max. Cool, cool. Uh, usually I don't use, like, stat boosting items or anything until later in the game. Just wanna get this one here. TM14. Wonder what that could contain. But you know what? We won't check it right now. Because I think it's about time to wrap this up. I think I've dilly-dallied along for way too much time. And, um, I'll go ahead and heal, and then I think I'm gonna wrap this up. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. Hope you guys enjoy kind of my loose commentary of this. I mean, I, I do want to be a gaming channel, but at the same time I love giving my opinions and stuff. So I hope you guys kind of like the style where I don't necessarily speak about the game so much as my opinions on current like things going on in the Pokemon community or like just life in general and trying to get this whole YouTube thing sorted up. So your support and your views are very much appreciated. Um, and you know, which, which which method do which which pressing method do you do you use? A A B A or B? Like, just tell me which one's your lucky your lucky one. Well, I'm out.